Hey everyone, Josh here, welcome back to the channel. Today I have the most recent car boot haul and I've decided to just throw in a few extras that I found that I haven't yet shown you to make it a little bit more bulked out and a little bit more interesting. So let's get started. So I'll just mix and match it and I'll kind of tell you what I paid or where it came from and we do it that way. So I have got two pieces of this pottery in stock. It doesn't really sell. I don't know why I keep buying it. It's always cheap and I grab it. Uh, this is Paul uh, Metcalf, I believe, the Fuchsia design. Now, if you pop that into eBay and you check solds, a couple sell for like the 20 to £40 pound mark. It sells for a high value. The issue, it doesn't sell very often. So I paid 50p. Uh, 50p for a chance to get 20 or 30 quid, I'll take, but that's just a little preserve pot. I'll give it a go, um, but I really should stop picking this up. Uh, but yeah, don't rush out and buy that. It's a very slow seller. Um, I just know it's worth about 20 or so quid. Next, this was from Steve's Table. A very dirty crystal vase, a clear base. Now that got me interested. A clear base usually means it's quality. Um, if the base is rough or it's cloudy, it means they haven't really paid any effort into making it look good. Uh, so a clear based and a polished base generally means high quality. And I was spot on because around the edge, it says Stuart at Stuart Glass. This will go for about £15. I paid a pound. So yeah, always check the base of glassware and always check like the very, very edge because that's sometimes where they stamp it. So this one is right on the edge. I almost missed it. A pound into 15 or 20. Uh, 50p, a little wooden nibbles dish. Uh, these go for about nine to 12 pounds. Really not very much, but a nice bread and butter item for me. I've sold plenty of them and it's summer now. They're fly out for barbecues, picnics, and that sort of stuff. So I'm lucky to have found this in filler bag. It's a Port Miriam Botanical Garden tray. Uh, they must have put it out after color and that had been, but I grabbed it. I think they go for about 10 to 20 pounds, not too sure. Um, if it's more than that, I'll put something up here, but nice, easy 10 to 20. And I paid like 20p for it, so that's great. Uh, this is some of the stuff that I found in a, a random bag in my room. This is a filler bag, a llama jelly mold, probably, you know, six to ten. Not a lot, but just small sales. I've done okay with these travel cases before. The Lego ones do quite well. This one's a Playmobil. And there's a few like spares in here, so I don't know if I'll just sell them off as one drop lot or just sell it with the case. Uh, but people do like to buy these cases, they are good for travelling with kids and stuff especially. Some very, very old fashioned Christmas ornaments. I will take these out of the box. Um, I don't think the box would have any value. Uh, German. I've got a bundle of vintage Christmas ornaments left from last year. I would just throw them with that and just bulk that up a little bit more. Um, because they didn't sell, I'm assuming there isn't enough in the bundle to make it worth the value. So adding another three and I've got a few more should bulk it up a little bit. Always go back and re revise your bundles, review them. If it's not selling for the price that you think it's worth, try adding in a couple of extra things and see if that does any better. Two French decanters i'm assuming it's for vinegar like they were in um a set in you know, like a salt and pepper and that was in like a little carry case or something not too sure i think it's vinegar they match i'll sell them as a bundle or a pair someone will do something with them but they are marked france on the bottom and they're about 15 centimeters tall some mugs from filler bag a very cute fine bone china piggy mug i've just realized it's the same pig just bigger, <laughs> okay. Um, it's a Dandy Lines England by Data, Fine Bone China. I don't think it's worth anything, but I got it because of the piggy and the Fine Bone China. Oh, the same picture's also on the inside too. So yeah, they've reused that picture a lot. Had to grab this one because it's just a bit interesting. It's a Dunoon, but it's for Nescafe Gold. Uh, you won't be able to see that on the bottom. It just says Dunoon Ceramics made in England specifically for Nescafe Gold Blend. Uh, handmade and decorated in burnished gold. Burnished gold. Thought that was interesting. I'll see if it's got any value. Probably not, but we'll see. Egg cups. I've done very well on turned wooden egg cups. 
it says free there, they go for a tenner. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five stainless steel ones. These are vintage things. They go for, again, about £12 plus post. Vintage cookie mould. Uh, I've done really well on these. I keep saying cookie moulds, and some of you have actually now started buying and selling them, and you're doing quite well, so I'm really pleased to hear that. But if you see a load of these in, like, a pound, just buy them and try them. Uh, you only get about 10 to £15 pounds for them. If you get the metal hoops that they sort of slot onto, you get more. Uh, but it's just a really easy item just to go, oh, big bundle there, ready to go. You know, you buy a box full, it's, it's one bundle ready to go. Um, you get 10 to 15 pounds, you'll make a five or so profit. Really easy to list as well. They don't break in shipping. It's just a really good item to grab. Another mug, a Danone Perfect, oh, sorry, Moggies. These are Moggy ones. Danone Moggies one. But it says Perfect Pause on it. I thought that was the branding, but yeah. They go for a tenner, I believe. All filler bags still. Free JJ plain white milk glass uh, cereal bowls. The clear plates, the clear JJ plates, the ones you want to look out for. I did spend one evening listing all of my spare replacement lids because I had loads of these smaller ones that I just didn't have any smaller Pyrex dishes for. Uh, they go for about seven to 10 pounds each. You want to put Pyrex, if it's Pyrex or JJ. If it says Corning, you want to put that on there. And there's always a number somewhere. So this one is a 16C. You want to make sure that's in the title as well. And then you want to just do the diameter of the uh, lip as well. This was nice for a pound. It's a, well, see if anyone recognises it first. I've picked up quite a bit of this. It's an m and St. Michael's weighing scale in... Country Harvest? Country Harvest? Autumn Harvest? One of them. It's one of the patterns. They all, they're all similar. Every company or every brand kind of has a very similar sounding pattern name and it does get confusing. But that was a nice little pickup for a pound. I think they go for 15. We'll have a little look. We're almost at the end now. We're almost at the end. A um, oval JJ pie dish. Rather scratched up, I didn't realise at the time. Obviously, I'm buying this in like a dark barn. The small ones go for £7 each. I'm hoping to get 15 for that. Maybe 10 with the scratches, but these sell quite fast. Uh, just a spare replacement. Denby Hall uh, dinner plate. Um, I was just checking there because it says Denby and then there's Hall. So I don't know if that's some sort of pre-sub branding or something, but I'll have a look. Nice big dinner plate. Yes, it's in a plate. Uh, that go for usually about a tenner. Probably my favourite find for quite a while. A little trio of Tupperware food storage containers. Um, I don't particularly know where it would go. Maybe in your cupboard with stuff in or your fridge. I, I don't quite know how you would use it. Um, maybe some of you have had these, you can tell me. They've got little special bottoms which allow them to sit in here and sort of not come out. Um, the lids have the hangy things. Well, two of the lids have the hangy thing. Uh, oh, that's not a Tupperware lid. And it doesn't sit on then flush. That's fine, I declare that. But it's got two Tupperware lids that sit fine and one that doesn't. But that's no problem. I don't know how much. If I find it, I'll put it up here. If I don't find it, I'll list it for 10 and we'll see what happens. Now, I'm sure Carla picked up some Costa travel mugs the other week and she said they were worth a little bit. These two are in filler bag. I thought even if I sell them both for £7, I've made some profit. Um, I paid, you know, 20p each for them. We'll see. Uh, these seem to be the nicer, newer ones as well. And they're also unused. They literally haven't been used. So, yeah, I'll have a look at them. And lastly, a JJ footed mixing bowl. I've never seen them with their feet before to make it sort of sit off the table. Uh, but I thought I'd give that a go. Again, some of the mixing bowls do have numbers on, so this one is 172. You want to make sure you include that, because people will look up the number for the specific set that they're looking for. Um, again, a tenner. Pyrex and stuff goes really quite nicely for a tenner. And that is it. Hopefully you all enjoyed me being back. I'm going to go and edit this now on my new phone. I've treated myself to a new phone. Uh, hopefully the quality is a bit better now, but I'm going to go and edit it. I'll upload it tomorrow on Tuesday, and I'll see you all very, very soon for the next haul. I'll see you soon. Hi, Barney Bear.
You're supposed to say hello. You good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs>